All right, first things first, let's set up a SQL a query engine where you can run your SQL queries. For that, you can use this free trial version of Snowflake. And by the way, Snowflake is one of the leading cloud database provider uh, at this moment. So it will be good to just, you know, learn a little bit about Snowflake also. But as you're learning this SQL, I will be running my SQLs on the Snowflake platform. So you will get to learn that also. So once you go to snowflake.com, just say start for free. And then this is how you set up your free trial version for Snowflake. It's pretty simple. So give all your details. I will just give my channel's name for now. And then you hit continue. Which one you want to use? Just go with enterprise so that way you will get a lot of features and anyway it's free so it should be okay. And choose AWS because a lot of people use AWS. There you can choose um, whatever region you are in. I'm close to Northern Virginia so I will use that. If you are in India just choose Mumbai or whatever region it gives. It will be faster if the region is close to you. So get started. So you can choose whatever and then companies considering I'll just use other and then continue. Or you can just skip this whole thing, right? So we don't care about that, skip. Then what you need to do is you go to an email and activate your account. So let's do that. So here is that email and you just say click to activate. It's a pretty straightforward and simple process. Once this is set up, we will dive right into how to write SQLs. And that is the most effective way to learn SQL. So this step may take some time because they are setting up your account. Once you see this screen, then just give your username and password and make sure you are keeping it safe. And you should remember that. Now you are set up with Snowflake and we are ready to write SQLs. So once you're here on this screen, you can click on plus worksheet and worksheets is the place where you can write your queries. You know, you can save it and you can refer those queries back later. So this case, when you sign up for Snowflake, it gives you free database and tables so that you don't need to create tables. You can just right away start querying that data and learn SQL. The whole idea of this is to learn SQL. Just very quickly, this is a database and these are all schemas. So database and schemas are the way you organize your data and your data sits inside tables. For this video, we will use this TPCH Snowflake one schema. And if you look at it, we have tables, customer, orders. These are the main tables we will work with. In order to write your query, it's very simple. You can, let's say I can place name in the editor. So I will just say place name in the editor and I have my database name, my schema name and my table name. I can also select my database from here. That way I don't need to write it over here. So let's just run for our first query, which is select star from this table. And I will say limit 10. And I will tell you reason why I did limit 10. And you can run it. And now if you see, as soon as I run it, it gave me this no active warehouse selected. So you have to select a warehouse from here, which is compute warehouse. Warehouse is nothing but a compute engine, like where this query will run. You need to have like a server or a node where you will run the query because this is a cloud version. It is not in something which is installed on your machine where it will use your machine resources. So it is going to use some compute resources and uh, you know Snowflake free version gives you for free a free node. So now you can you know just run this query because now you have selected your uh, warehouse. If you look at it as soon as I ran it I, I got all my data. This is my data and I can download this data if I want. It tells me how long this query ran for and all that. You don't need to worry about for these, but these are really good details also from data quality perspective. For now, just focus on this data, right? So this is, and I said limit 10. 
this table, which is this customer table, can have many rows. But I wanted to see how any 10 rows looks like. The way you query is just say select star. Star mean give me everything from this table. Everything meaning all the columns. So if you see when I click on this customer table, these are the different columns this table has, meaning what is the customer name? What is the customer address? What is the customer phone number? We will talk about these keys also later, but basically key is a unique ID given to a, a customer. Let's say you have an account number in bank, right? The account number is a unique, which is something unique to you. You will not have uh, let's say a Bank of America or a Bank of India account number which is given to two different customers it will be unique now let's say we wanted to run how many total rows are in this table right let's say how many total customers we have right so for that you can say count star right so star is a very important concept in SQL when you say star meaning everything so you're saying count all the rows or count all the the rows in this customer table how many records are in this table so that it will give you so if you highlight that and you just press run it has 150,000 rows so there are 150,000 customers uh, in this table so here is like a very simple um, SQL queries but this is what SQL is you just start writing queries now in my next videos I will be covering the next level queries where you will be selecting certain columns or you will be selecting certain rows because sometimes you only want to see that and then slowly we will build up on the advanced concepts as well that way you will not get um, overwhelmed that hey this SQL is tough because SQL is very simple it's a structured query language a structure given to uh, database tables and the way you can query them so now you have seen this query you have seen this data right here you have seen tables here let me just quickly show a quick slide or whenever you are going to run SQLs that's how the data is going to be stored so you have a database you have a schema you have tables views and inside tables views you have rows and columns sometimes columns are also called called as fields so just remember that and here is the slide I just put in just to remind you you know what you have seen if you look at it where's the database this is the database snowflake sample data snowflake this is another database inside this database you have these two different schemas informational schema and TPCDS SF 100 TCL schema usually you will give uh, descriptive names but in this case it's the snowflake data which they have given uh, so they have named it like that for some reason and now here are the table names you have call center you have different table now inside this table this you see call center table you have these different fields or different column names you can see what data type it is and we will talk about data type later but as soon as you start seeing queries and you start seeing data these most of the things will start making sense all right i think that's that's all i got for this video thank you so much bye